Claims of machines and devices transcending the laws of time are not a novel concept. Such claims are often debunked as hoaxes or urban legends, yet occasionally, one gains a degree of credibility. In the 1960s and 70s, Benedictine monk Father Pellegrino Ernetti claimed to be in possession of a device called the Chronovisor, purportedly allowing him to view specific past events. Ernetti was a highly regarded figure within the church, as well as an accomplished scholar of music, a scientist, an exorcist, and the holder of various other high-profile positions. Therefore, his followers willingly believed when he announced that he had created the Chronovisor a few years before revealing it. Ernetti's claim stood out due to the Chronovisor's alleged ability to not only show significant historical scenes, but also capture them as holographic three-dimensional images, offering tangible evidence to skeptics. Most notably, Ernetti claimed to have used the Chronovisor to capture the crucifixion of Christ, leading to the publication of an Italian article in the early 1970s titled, A Machine That Photographs the Past Has Finally Been Invented. Furthermore, he asserted having witnessed Cicero's famous speech in 63 BC, the birth of the Roman Empire, the Last Supper, and the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. Ernetti's invention suggested the possibility of validating biblical events, challenging the beliefs of atheists and skeptics worldwide. Constructing the Chronovisor Ernetti did not claim sole credit for the development of the Chronovisor. He stated that Enrico Fermi and Werner von Braun had assisted him. Fermi, a distinguished Italian-American Nobel Prize-winning physicist, was instrumental in creating the world's first nuclear reactor, the Chicago Pile 1. He played a significant role in the Manhattan Project alongside J. Robert Oppenheimer, earning the nickname the Architect of the Atomic Bomb. Von Braun, a former Nazi scientist, later contributed significantly to NASA's moon missions. This involvement helped him avoid prosecution for his wartime activities as a major in the SS. Von Braun was also known as the father of rocket science. Additionally, Arnetti claimed that ten other accomplished scientists were involved in building the chronovisor, but their identities were kept confidential at their request. The device reportedly used a combination of light and sound-sensitive metals with unique sensing properties, along with multiple antennas and cathode rays. The metals were said to be capable of detecting sound and light across their entire spectrums. A component called the Direction Finder was used to select a specific time for observation. The device also featured a screen with a recording function to display and capture footage from the chosen historical moment. The chronovisor was described as a window into the past, allowing observation and clarification of historical events rather than a time-traveling device as depicted in science fiction. The inventors reportedly witnessed speeches by Mussolini and Napoleon and a performance of Thiestes, a lost Roman play, using the device. Ernetti claimed the chronovisor was highly valued by the Vatican and was hidden to protect it. Supporting this claim, in 1988, the Vatican is said to have declared that anyone using such an instrument would be excommunicated. Real-time viewing theories. Historians, scientists, and experts in various fields generally agree that constructing a time machine resembling the chronovisor or those often depicted in science fiction is theoretically impossible. However, some phenomena might allow for or explain potential time warping, occasionally aligning with the theory of relativity. This theory suggests that the passage of time for an object or being depends upon its position in physical space. For instance, certain theoretical physicists recognize the concept of a tachyon, a hypothetical particle believed to travel faster than light. Others challenge this idea, arguing that any particle exceeding the speed of light violates physical laws. If tachyons were to exist, according to the theory of relativity, they could enable signals that precipitate an effect before its cause. This concept, known as retrocausality, posits that the present could influence the past, thereby altering linear time. Another theory involves time-like curves, which represent an object's journey through space and time. These curves can be manipulated by matter via gravity, theoretically warping an object's or being's perception of time if they bend in such a manner that they loop back on themselves. Claims and Revelations The existence of the chronovisor has never been proven, and it is purportedly a closely guarded secret of the Vatican. Until his death, Ernetti consistently claimed the device was in Vatican possession, emphasizing this in an open letter written shortly before his demise. In the letter, he alleged that the Pope had, quote, forbade us to disclose any details about this device because the machine was very dangerous. It can restrain the freedom of man. 
Some have suggested that Ernetti, on his deathbed, admitted fabricating the chronovisor's existence to support Christian claims. This remains a contentious topic among scholars and priests. Evidence increasingly undermines Ernetti's assertions. For example, notable similarities have been identified between the image of Christ he said he captured and a postcard from Calavalenza, Italy. A magazine reported that Ernetti's image was a reverse reproduction of this postcard. Others believe it resembled a low-quality image of a statue from an Umbrian church. Beyond his ardent followers and close associates, Ernetti's claims were largely met with skepticism. Skeptics also question the authenticity of Ernetti's transcription of Thiestes, the Lost Play, and imply that the Vatican-funded development program was either a failure or fictitious. Furthermore, they draw parallels between the chronovisor and similar devices in science fiction, suggesting these fictional concepts may have influenced Ernetti. Additionally, Ernetti never revealed specific construction details of the chronoscope and failed to provide concrete evidence for his claims. Modern science concurs that time travel exists only in the realm of imagination, a domain where Ernetti's chronovisor may also reside. The mystery endures. Despite skepticism, some continue to regard the chronovisor as a triumph for Christianity, reinforcing the Church's views and underscoring its mysteries. In his 2002 book, The Vatican's New Mystery, Father Francois Bruna presented his belief in the chronovisor. Having known Ernetti since the 1960s, Bruna shared details of the scenes Ernetti claimed to have witnessed through the device. Bruna advocated for the chronovisor's existence, asserting that it was in the Vatican's possession and operational until he died in 2019. The Vatican has not directly acknowledged the chronovisor, but persistently warns against using such devices. It speculated that its discovery may have uncovered truths conflicting with church doctrine, leading to its concealment. With the primary proponents of the chronovisor deceased and the Vatican remaining silent, the complete truth may remain elusive. Regardless of their factual accuracy, the tales of Ernetti and the chronovisor have endured, captivating many and contributing to the Vatican's mysterious image. Do you think the chronovisor exists and is being hidden by the Vatican? Let me know in the comments. As always, thank you for watching Dark Five. Like and subscribe to continue exploring the greatest mysteries of this world and beyond.